Normally, the heart valves open and close to keep blood moving in the right direction through the heart. Disease or defects in the heart valves can disrupt this normal blood flow, causing symptoms such as tiredness, heart palpitations, and trouble breathing. These symptoms come on gradually. In some cases, a damaged heart valve needs to be repaired or replaced. Many times, this can be done without the need for open heart surgery. Instead, your healthcare providers may be able to repair or replace your heart valve using a minimally invasive procedure. These are called percutaneous or transcatheter procedures. The most common reason people have heart valve procedures is for a leaking or narrowed heart valve. These conditions make the heart work harder to get blood into the heart or out to the body. When a heart valve is leaking, it is called regurgitation. The heart valve doesn't close completely and some blood flows backward through the valve. When a heart valve is too narrow, it is called stenosis. The valve opening can become narrow and stiff, limiting the flow of blood into or out of the heart chambers. If you need heart valve repair or replacement, your healthcare provider will discuss treatments with you. He or she will tell you which treatment options are best for you, based on your individual case. Before your procedure, you will have certain tests to fully evaluate your condition. These tests may include transesophageal echocardiography. For this test, a thin flexible tube will be guided down your throat and into your esophagus. This is a type of imaging test that uses sound waves to create moving pictures of the heart and heart valves. You may also have blood, urine, or other lab tests. Your healthcare provider will also want to know about all of the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter types. The exact procedure you undergo for a damaged valve depends on the nature and extent of your damage. You will first receive anesthesia, so you will not feel any pain. The type and amount of anesthesia you receive depend on the procedure. If your valve is too narrow, your healthcare provider may do a procedure called a balloon valvuloplasty. In some cases, the healthcare provider may also do a transcatheter valve replacement. This is usually done for the aortic valve. Your healthcare provider may insert a balloon catheter into a blood vessel. He or she will guide it to the damaged heart valve. Next, the healthcare provider will expand the balloon inside your valve. This stretches the valve open. When the healthcare provider is replacing your aortic valve, he or she will put the new valve on the catheter. The healthcare provider will then guide the catheter back to the damaged valve. He or she will expand the new valve into place. If your mitral valve is leaking, your healthcare provider may recommend repairs using a transcatheter approach. Your healthcare provider will put a catheter into one of your blood vessels. The catheter will have a special clip device attached. Your healthcare provider will guide the clip on the catheter to the leaking mitral valve. The clip will grasp the two sides of the mitral valve and close. This creates a double opening of the mitral valve. The clip still allows blood to flow on either side of it, but it greatly reduces the amount of leaking. After your healthcare provider completes the procedure, he or she will close the incisions. As your healthcare provider skillfully completes the procedure, incisions are closed and a new chapter begins. Your post-procedure journey determines the length of your hospital stay, and as the heart heals, a symphony of hope plays on.